I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up Google Cloud Print to use your Chromebook at home to print. And this should work with any network printer you have, whether that printer is wireless, wired, or even plugged into a laptop or desktop that you have at home via USB. So to get started, you want to open up the Chrome web browser. And what I'm going to do first is create a new profile within Chrome because you or somebody else in your family might already be signed into the Chrome browser as I am here with my school account. So what I want to do is click the three dots up at the top of the screen and go to settings. And here you can see my current profile that I have in the Chrome web browser. I want to add another one. So I'm going to click add person and I'm just going to name this WMRHSD.org. I'm going to choose my icon and click add. And so now what just happened, it signed me into this new profile in Chrome. You'll know that because up here at the top of the screen, it's got the name of that profile, so WMRHSD.org. And if I click that, I now actually want to sign into the Chrome browser. So I created a profile, but now I actually have to sign in. So I'm going to click sign into Chrome. I'm going to enter my student account. So this is just a fictitious one, but you'll enter your actual email address. And I'll put in my password. And uh, I'm going to link my data. Yes. And click OK. All right. So now I'm actually signed in to Chrome with this profile and now I changed to 99. So up here I can see it says 99T user. That's my student email address or student account. And now in the browser, I want to type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash devices. And here's where I can add my classic printers. Now it should say add printers. I'm going to click disconnect printers. Now I've got add printers. So I'm going to click add printers. And what happens is this uh, Chrome cloud print will see any of the printers that are currently available to the computer that I'm using. So right now I'm on my desktop and it can see any of the available printers I have. So I want to uncheck the ones I don't want. So I don't want OneNote. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I don't need the fax. Uh, but I am going to leave this one. So the printer I have is the HP OfficeJet 6500. And so since that shows up two times, I'll leave both of those checked. I'm going to click Add Printers. And now they're added. So it says, thanks, you're ready to go. And I can go to Manage Your Printers. And they're there. So I've got Save to Google Drive. I've got Snagit. And I have my uh, HP OfficeJet 6500 series. So I'm going to switch over to my Chromebook. And I'm going to sign in with my student account. So you can see how I can print uh, now to this desktop and use that printer. So here I am signed into my Chromebook. I'm signed in with that same student account. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this Gmail Ninja PDF. So I want to print this. It's in my drive. I'm going to go up here to click the print icon. And now if I click change destination, Right there, I'm going to see those available printers, and I can click on my HP OfficeJet 6500. And now I'm going to click Print, and it should send it to my printer. All right, so I'm back in my Google Drive, and I'm going to open up this Google Inbox review. And same thing, just like the PDF, I can go over here and click the printer icon or go to File and Print. And I should see my HP OfficeJet 6500 there. So I can click it, select the printer, click Print, and it will uh, print that document. So that's how you should be able to set up printing at home, whether you have a wireless printer or a wired printer. As long as the machine that has the Chrome browser installed on it can see that printer. So like I said, if it's a laptop or desktop, you should be able to print uh, to it no matter what type of printer it is.